We love a good snack mix. You can put it on your salads, you can have it in a little cup and have it with your meal, or you can just put it in little baggies for your kids. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So while we were in Utah at the Keto Summit, right. Utah, Omaha. Caltip in Nebraska. Uh, we went to Costco on the first day while we were waiting for Chris and Miriam to arrive, and we found these. Now, I have seen these in our local Costco, which is really cool. Which made us happy. Costco, a lot of times, like, it's in one but not the other. So the fact that we found these in the Nebraska Costco, but it's also available in South Florida. Warms our heart. Really cool. So these are... Parm Crisps Snack Mix, and this is a ranch flavor. Yum. And it has 100% cheese crisps, dry roasted nuts, almonds, parm crisps, cashews, and pistachios. Seems like a good mix, and I do like a mix. I mean, sometimes I do better with a mix than I do with one solid thing, like a bag of cashews, I can sort of cork down. Yep. But when you have a mix like that, I, I tend to get filled up a little bit quicker. So there's a little bit of copy on the back that says, shake it up, mix it up. Parm Crisp Snack Mix is a mouthwatering, crunchy snack that's full of flavor, packed with protein, keeping you energized, fully satisfied. Featuring 100% cheese Parm Crisp, Parm Crisp Snack Mix is low sugar, gluten-free, and keto-friendly. We'll see about that. Are you ready? Yes. So it satisfying. A, is it a resealable bag? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Okay. So... Close it a little bit and then shake it. I shook know, it when we came in. It's got ranch in it. I shook it when we came in. I want to make sure that it's not like... I can't open it from the bottom like the pork rinds. Okay. We're going to show you what it looks like afterwards, but basically, I mean, we'll put a little thing out on my hand here. So it, it literally is, if you can see it in that camera... It's probably focusing on our face, but that's okay. Okay, parm crisps. Mm -hmm. It's got some pistachios. It's got some cashews and almonds. Oh, look at that! I got. So we're gonna give you one of each. Yeah, I love one that you each. just reached in and you got every variety. You know how like sometimes it really isn't. You know, it's it's leading with one thing. A lot of times, mixes that have peanuts in it, it's mostly peanuts. Okay, so here's the question: When you get a snack mix, okay. Do you eat one at a time, or do you throw them all in your mouth for the, the meltable flavor? I always eat it one at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna have a, the pistachio. Oh my gosh, that ranch flavor is amazing. That is really nice. It's like sweet, and sweet, salty, sour. The cheese is good. That was the almond. Of course, parm crisp should have good cheese. I like the little mini cheese crisp. Ending on the almond. I'm gonna end on the best nut there is. Cashew. Cashews. Super tasty. Wow. Those are really good. Very, very tasty. We have five things, but do you wanna show a serving? I yeah. got the scale here. I like it. Always good to know, what is a serving? So, even though this should probably be part of the five things, a serving size is a quarter of a cup. Don't measure it, weigh it. So we're gonna clear that out. And it is 30 grams. So let's switch over to grams. Okay. Ready? Uh oh. Oh, oh, we got more still. Hold on. 32. Take out a couple of palm crusts because I think I dumped more extra palm crust than anything in there. Maybe a nut. There you go. 30 okay. grams. That's, that's, that's pretty respectable yeah. for a serving size. Put it in a pretty glass, too. That yep. helps me. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients, 
Does it keto based on a nutritional label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend would it? Would we recommend it? Start off at number one, the ingredients. Almonds, Parmesan cheese, which is uh, cultured milk, salt, and enzymes. Then we have cashews, which are cashews and sunflower oil. Pistachio kernels. Then we have the seasoning. The seasoning is whey, buttermilk powder, garlic powder, maltodextrin, so, uh, sour cream, which is cream, non-fat milk, and cultures, onion powder, tomato powder, yeast extract, tor tor torula yeast, cultured non-fat milk, whey protein concentrate, salt, paprika, citric acid, parsley, lactic acid, vinegar, spice, malic acid, natural flavor, and then grapeseed oil. I love that they're transparent. They don't claim to have no sugar. They're saying that it's low sugar. Yep. Um, it's, you know, you're getting it out of the seasoning blend. And, and it's all in the seasoning blend. Uh, like, and then there is a little bit of maltodextrin, which I generally expect in the seasonings. It's up to you. I, I we're not angels. This, okay. and, well, and this doesn't say keto crisps snack no. mix. No, I mean, it says it's keto friendly, which it is keto friendly. Why? It's low in carbohydrates. Yeah. There's no such thing as a keto food. There's only a keto friendly food. So I love the fact that they're saying it's keto friendly. Nice. Because that's what we always say. We're not angels. Sometimes no. we're going to have some pork rinds or some snack mix. Are you that sure has you don't a have a halo? Bit, well, a little bit. You have a halo on my mind. But when it comes Thank to you. our keto lifestyle, not perfect. We're not perfect. Sometimes we have a little bit of maltodextrin in the seasoning. We're okay with that. You have to figure that out for yourself on your own journey. Um, but overall, Nutrition. pretty good ingredients. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So there's about 19 servings per container, which honestly, this is a respectable serving as far as I'm concerned. A fourth mm -hmm. of a cup is a serving size, 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, nine grams of protein, six total carbs, cause nuts, you know, three dietary fiber, and that's it. So you're looking at three net carbs per serving, um, but six total carbs. And I, I think that that's great. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna say about six total carbs, three fiber. Don't take that fiber out. Just give yourself six. Is the fiber coming from nuts? Yes. Why do I say don't take it out? Because you're gonna double eat this if you count it as three carbs instead yeah, of six. Yeah, that's kind of true. Nuts is very easy to overdo. I'm always gonna tell you to count total carbs on nuts. Why? You won't eat an entire bag of macadamia nuts or an entire bag of parm Who crust. Who could afford it? Or an entire bag of cashews. Cashews are higher in carbs. So I love the fact that it's a blend. Yeah. Okay, you get a couple of cashews in there with the almonds, which is a better uh, nut option. But when you start taking out fiber and nuts, you could easily you go nuts. overdo it. And what you're, the problem is, even if your body doesn't digest that fiber, okay? And again, it's it's different for everybody, but we always talk about overdoing it or overcounting. And then at the end of the day, so you had a little bit less carbs than you thought you did, you're good. You're happy. Right? But if you start doing that, you go, oh, I can have double. The problem is you may, nuts are high in fat. Nothing wrong with fat, but if you're trying to lose fat, all of a sudden you're really adding it up. So if I have two or three servings of this, that means maybe maybe I have to stick to a very lean ground beef instead of having a ribeye. Which I love ribeye. So again, you do what you want for your journey. We are going to recommend counting the total carbs when it comes to nuts and snap mix. Because this way I get to have my eat my nuts and have my ribeye too. Yes. We're, st we're changing the, the, the terminology. Number three, how do they taste? I like this. Delicious. And I honestly like it better than just having palm crisp or just having nuts because I feel like I'm going to eat less and I'm going to satisfy all of my different tastes. I think this makes a really fun, especially for the holidays coming up. Mm -hmm. And I think also, for packing in kids' school lunches. This is a great blend. I love the mini. So good. No, nope. Right? Because no I can peanuts. overdo those cheese strips. No peanuts. So you can have it on a plane so, usually. Yeah, you don't have to worry about somebody with a peanut allergy. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's is really nice. Yeah. So number four, how much did they cost? Okay. We found this back at Costco. It was $12.99. So if you divide that by 19 servings, that's a real value. Yeah, that's wow, less than a dollar a serving. Think about like any kind of nut serving that you could enjoy being only a dollar. Where is that bag? Can you reach down there and grab the bag that they gave us on the plane? Yeah. Both of them. This is so funny. just to give you an idea, this when we went to Omaha, this was 
I'm gonna pour what this in got. so you can see what how many how much you got. Okay, so this was a serving of nuts on the plane from nuts.com. 14 That grams. was it. Now, now that I rip this, so this is 80 calories, seven grams of fat, three total carbs, two grams of dietary fiber. Yep. So would you rather have this or what we just gave you? A nice variety. Now, even if you have double of that, you're not what you had before and you only have almonds. Well, I thought this was interesting too because we took this home not to eat it, but just because they, they passed it, it out to us. us. I felt like Ron Swanson when it he disgusted was- Disgusted us. Well, I, I like how Ron Swanson was taking the vegetarian bacon and he just kept taking it. And they were wondering, well, why are you, why are you taking this and just throwing it in the garbage? Because you're like, well, that means somebody else is not eating it. Right. But a lot of times you're thinking, well, any snack will do. And this is very small. So, so no problem at all. Wait, before you read that, here's my thing. When you see this packaging, when you read Cliff, you think I'm eating healthy. Healthy, right? healthy. So listen to these ingredients real quick. Real quick. It says organic brown rice syrup. Syrup, not even just like starting with the rice. Mm -hmm. Syrup, organic rolled oats, soy protein isolate, organic cane sugar, organic roasted soybeans, rice flour, cane sugar, unsweetened chocolate, organic soy flour, organic oat flour. Where's the healthy? High oleic sunflower oil. Okay, we got, we're healthy there. Cocoa butter, barley malt extract, sea salt, natural flavors, soy lecithin, organic cinnamon, vitamins and minerals, which whatever that is. Um, and then uh, it just says it contains soy. So, um, and this little guy, a bar of this is 100 calories. Yes, which that's what we're always looking for. 100 calorie bar. 100 calorie bar. Total fat, two grams. To, uh, protein is four grams. Total carbs, 18 grams. And only two grams, grams of fiber. 18 grams of thing. And yeah, oh, no, one. No, oh, I'm sorry, two. Two grams two of fiber. Two grams of fiber. So, and again, package. Little wait, tiny wait, 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 thing. Ready? We're, we're not trying to like make anybody like want this, but. I don't think this is gonna be super appetizing looking. No. Ew. That's, yeah. That doesn't even smell good. So, so. so this that is a nice. go in the garbage. You get this a is lot cool. more. I like this. It goes further. So this is a nice switch out for um, you snacks. Go put, put a serving back in there. Okay. I gotta move it around because you put the regular almonds in. Whew. That's pretty good. Don't you get excited when you're like, oh, I almost nailed it on the first try. Okay, while you're doing that, let's talk about number five. Would we recommend it? I would absolutely recommend it. Oh, so yeah. This is a nice little snack, especially if you want to put this on your salad. Some of us miss the crunch of croutons on your salad. Throw this on your oh, salad, yeah. right? Salad. We used to go to sweet tomatoes. You get your salad, you put some croutons on there, you put some sunflower seeds on there. Well. Here you put in cheese crisps and almonds. Nothing wrong with sunflower no. seeds, but that's a nice little thing. Maybe having your little meal, like we make our, our food, sometimes you want that little bit of a crunch with your dinner, put this in a little glass on your plate as you're eating, you can have one of those. It's always nicer to, we're not saying don't have a snack because sometimes we're really guilty of grazing. Mm -hmm. So my idea is have your snack with your dinner. That's right. So you're all eating so together. So you're not worried about insulin. That was a big topic yeah. when we were in Omaha. Insulin, insulin, insulin. So. Have this, so you have your dinner and you have this little thing. First of all, you feel like you're eating like a king mm -hmm. because you have all of this nice flavor variety to, to grab from. Um, and then you're not grazing all day. Now I will say sometimes at Costco, we have found it's here today and gone tomorrow because yep. they're always changing things out. So I will say this says we just bought it and it says best used by February 28th of so 2022. That's about, that's about what? Seven months? Something so like that? buy it now. It's going to get you through October, November, December, all of the holiday stuff when you, you know, maybe grab a couple yeah, bags. It's going to be great for holiday parties. Yeah. Very good for holiday parties. If you want to bring a mix and you can't have, you know, like I know there's a keto checks mix type style out there, but this is a nice blend. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So you know what I'm thinking? Throw this in with the keto chow muddy buddies recipe. Oh yes. So now you get the pork rinds with the chocolate. Oh. And then oh my gosh, that'd be great. Delicious. Mix. Okay, that is going to be today's video. Let us know down in the comment section. Have you tried these palm crisp snack max? Mm -hmm. Also, you know what else I'm curious? What are your favorite nuts on keto? Yeah. We talk about all the time. If you're gonna have pistachio, which is a higher carb nut, make sure you get shell because now you gotta take all of the time to actually shell them. Also, let us know if you see another flavor. Oh yeah. Maybe there's a nacho cheese. So let us know, favorite, 
Favorite cheese crisps? Have you tried this? Favorite nut? And have you seen this in another flavor? So if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.